last day of summer, September 21st, uh, for Wildcats, the South Suburban Conference, playing Owatonna Huskies from the Big Nine Conference. I want to go through the starting lineups with you. Actually, as I'm going through the starting lineup, this should be interesting. There's only two officials that have reported for duty, so uh, um, looks like we're waiting for a center to come from somewhere. The uh, the two guys that have showed up are Mark Weber, Craig Weber. For the Wildcats, starting in Nets is senior uh, goalie and captain Luke Anderson. Owen Mitchell will be probably in the center back. Carlos Melgar, uh, Sebastian Moreno, Evan Loberg, Phil Caputo, uh, Emilio, Herrera Leon, Adrian Morales, Carter Weber, Diego Lopez, Nicholas Cron. It is senior day, so that's uh, quite exciting. Um, so some of the uh, new guys in the starting lineup for the um, Oatana Huskies, they'll be starting with Riley Verasek and Nets. Number three, Nolan Burmeister, Derek Huxford, Leo Gantert, Caden Nelson, Lane Versteeg, Zach Kubicek, Drew Randall, Fletcher Schultz, Aaron Bangs, Oatana coming out of the big nine is two, four, and three. Egan is two, seven, and one. Um, this is the first campaign for, uh, oh my goodness, they're doing a two-man system here uh, for the officials. So uh, that means that there are no assistant referees today. They, they both have whistles, um, and so offsides will be much tougher to call because there are not three officials. Uh, Starting the ball. Um, Egan has been really struggling with chemistry. Uh, it seems like there's flashes where there is possession, but then uh, been giving up some uh, s simple things in the back. Um, passes to goalie and unmarked players. So we'll see what uh, what Egan is, has in store today. Carter Weber on the outside. Nice job turning it, turning it back. And so uh, what's interesting is when you only have two officials, that they, they kind of have to not be in the center of the field because they have to look for, for the AR for the uh, offsides. So uh, I assume the center will is probably coming from another game or, or something. All right, wrestling through it. And it's a shot and a save. Okay, shot by, I believe that's Isaac Ingrick. Uh Was that? Nope. Yes, it was. I didn't have him in the starting lineup, but uh, clearly he had a great shot and a save by Oatana there. Good to see Isaac uh, put one on the frame early. He's been uh, in a couple times, hasn't, uh, wh what I mean by in is dribbling inside the box and uh, hasn't been gregarious enough to shoot. Owen Mitchell to Diego, Diego to the outside. That's a good quick ball, but it goes out of bounds. Evan Loberg is, is there. All right. And, uh, oh, nice touch to Loberg, to Adrian Morales, to Loberg in the box. Good job. And it's a big left foot boom to Owen Mitchell. Melgar tries to turn, but it goes right to White. Oh, and he gets it back. Melgar going in the box, looks for the early pass, and he's... He does see Caputo. Caputo can't quite unleash it. So there's a situation where if you had an AR, the AR is only looking at the offsides. In this scenario, the, the uh, referee was actually looking to see if there's a foul on the ball, and one could argue that Caputo was offside there. Um, but uh, very difficult job for the, the two gentlemen in yellow today. That was a shot by uh, Oatana and a save by Luke Anderson. It's uh, coming out for a corner. It's a short corner. See what they do with this. I'm not a fan of a short corner. If, uh, you know, you, you work all game long to get it down there, put it in the mixer, see what happens. Now, what do they earn? And they earned a throw in. Big deal. Big throw, though, it looks like. And Anderson comes out, puts the mitts on it, looks for a quick release. I like it. Gingrich coming up. Early pass. To space, which goes to Otana. Otana looking to go down the line. Gingrich trying to redeem. Emilio shielding. Carter Weber looking for the keep. Luke Anderson coming out. Luke is uh, coming off a toe injury. He did not play the last game, but he's back between the pipes for senior senior night. Diego trying to come back. 
All right, can't quite gain possession either time there. Little flick, Owatonna to the corner. They're playing it to Burmeister, who's looking for a cross. Doesn't take his time. Doesn't take it. Comes walking in. Mitchell does a nice job not fouling. And all right. And it goes to the corner. See, one of the disadvantages of having two officials, in order to see the play, he's actually off the field of play. So you don't even have an official that can really see what's going on in the mixer there. Anderson does the punch. And it's bouncing out for another corner. Well, out of bounds off the Wildcats. Corner kick. All right. Watana, their second. All right. Kick will be from the near side. Second corner kick for Owatonna coming up. This, this year, the field is about a yard narrower, trying to give the corner kicks a little more space off the track. Oatana, yep, early clear by Emilio. Oatana's trying to gain possession. Caputo thankfully comes up and pressures. Really nice pressure by Caputo. You don't have to get the ball. What you need to do is pressure, so then they have to do something with it, and they just kicked it out of play. So Schultz passes it off, and he's, he went to Bangs, who's taken, taken the ball. Quick release by Owen Mitchell, going outside to Loberg. Referee's in the way because, once again, got to be on the side but can't be on the way side. Early ball to Caputo. Doesn't quite get there. Owatonna playing it down the side. Melgar gets a possession ball. Diego looking for the big cross. Gingrich, <laughs> chest pass. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but it worked. All right, battling in the middle. Bangs gets the ball from Emilio, but gets it back to Carter. Gingrich, kick to Morales, inside touch, and it's gonna be a throw in for the Wildcats. So early on here, it's, it's uh, good to see um, clearly Oatana is not quite as skilled as some of the other teams. And uh, so what you're seeing is uh, Egan is not getting pressured as much. And so this is, uh, m you see a lot more possession by um, Egan. Shot by Carlos Melgar, goes wide. It's a goal kick for the uh, Huskies. All right, Melgar's uh, doing did a nice job pushing up there on the outside. Weber playing it safe, kicks it out. Throne's going to be taken by Versteeg, their captain. Look for a big throw. He plays it negatively. Keep possession. Crosses it in. Diego can't quite control it. Now does. Gets an early ball. Good step. Kubacek gets a good step, but can't quite clear it out. So what I'm seeing early on here is that uh, Egan has tons of opportunities up front. Uh, the backs of Oatana aren't quite skilled enough to play it to feet, nor are they quite skilled enough to drop it to their feet. So what you're going to be seeing is a lot of uh, early clears, um, a.k.a. boom ball, coming out of the back line for Oatana, from what I can tell so far. Emilio, Juke and Jive, Adrian, shot, blocked. Diego goes to White. Once again, here's where Oatana struggles. Can't quite get it, so the boom happens. All right, Kron needs to touch the ball. Does, hits it to Carlos. Carlos threads the needle. Adrian trying to do a sweep pass. Be throw in for the Wildcats. All right, be nice to get a throw in that just goes right, right in the mixer, right inside the six here. Let's see what uh, we do. We play it short. This is... This is where you tend to be offside because you play to the guy and Owatonna gets the throw in possession back. And Emilio bumps it to Kron. Kron, the left foot, big cross, and it's a nice volley. Taken out of the air by Caputo. Just shot goes wide. I really, really like that shot. Such a difficult ball looping in like that and then taking it with the right foot out of the air volley. Good job. Want to see Caputo uh, continuing to hit it early. Oatana looking to spring one. Carlos comes back. 
Plays it left footed. This is dangerous. Owen gets it out. And there's the boom ball we're talking about. Bangs just. Just hoping for a shot, and he, uh, wow. Touch them all, Aaron Bangs. All right, we'll uh, set up for a goal kick there. Luke looking for something. Egan completely dead. No one ever moves on any of these kicks. It's, you know, if they were better on 50-50 balls, it might be okay, but uh, you got to have some movement if you want the ball or be super aggressive. So without being either, we lose possession on a goal kick. All right, Owatonna throws it in. It's dangerous immediately. Anderson comes out, double punch in the air, another throw in. If you have a guy who throws it in long, this, it, danger happens if you think about it. Owatonna hasn't played it with their feet. They play it from 40 yards out. We can't control it, throw it in. We clear it, now it's a throw in. You're not gonna see a short throw here, it's long. It's in the mixer. Diego flicks it. Luke Anderson picks it up. All right, not a save, but still the right thing to do, grabbing that. We're looking for the reset. Can't quite get the ball there. Goes back to Bangs, goes back to Caputo. Gingrich looking for the early ball, sees Caputo. Caputo coming in on the line. Drops it for Gingrich. Look for an early pass. Can't quite control it. Goes back to Caputo in the corner. Goes goal line. Ball's in. Oh, Carlos can not quite get a foot on it. Loberg hustling back. All right, Evan plays the ball. Ooh, and then they, then they see the heavy push there. And the, it's the blue kick. Burmeister doesn't quite like that call, but... It is what it is, and he, he needed to get there quicker. Of course, Wildcat kick somehow goes right to Bangs again. All right, they're, they're possessing it a little bit better there and in the middle, looking for the long, long ball. Anderson comes out. He's left-footed, so he brings it to his left. I don't know if we can get a wide pan, but it, it's, I mean, the Egan, you c it's clearly f three rows. It, it's... Like four defenders, midfielders, and then there's forwards. It's clearly it's a 4-3-3 three, three here. All right, getting some space. Nice overlap by Carter. Puts it up, oh, just off the post. Here I say that they're only playing by lines. Carter makes a great overlapping run as a left outside Fullback gets a shot, left-footed shot. I appreciate that. Maybe my uh, reference to playing three lines was inspirational to Mr. Weber there on senior day. Appreciate number 20's uh, diligence in making that overlap run. That, was, uh, that added up to be Egan's fourth shot. Diego hoping the home run ball happens. Doesn't quite. Oatana possesses it. Big clear by Randall. Goes to Egan. Gingrich looking to move to the right foot. Goes to Caputo. Heel pass to Diego. Diego shoots it. And it goes over. That's a fifth, uh, fifth shot by the Wildcats. Couple subs coming in for the uh, Huskies. Versteeg for the Huskies, flick header over to Huxford. Oh, they're springing through in the middle. This is dangerous, great save. Man, ratcheting back to shock if that was how four of the goals happened, just right up the gut. I'd really like to see Egan being marking some guys in the back there, and uh, that, that'll be a nice little wake-up call for them there. Oh, Atana just clears it out. Uh, it's going to be a game of throw-ins if, uh, if that's the kind of clearing that happens. 27 minutes left. Weber checks out. Jacob Frost comes in, number eight. Frost is up there, looking to be involved in the offense there. Morales. 
Frost picks up the sloppy seconds. Nice little chip into Caputo. Scooped up by Verasek. Nice save. Not as much a shot save, but that Caputo would have been super dangerous being inside the two there. Mitchell going up, hands on the back. Maybe we should call them super ARs today. Each, each AR has a whistle and neither have a flag. So um, as a referee, it's, it is it is tough. You're, you're thinking about am I in position rather than calling the game. All right, Egan is trying to keep a strong line and, and keep it up. All right, Huxford comes back, gets the pass. Looking for an early cross. Cross comes in, that's dangerous, that's a goal. That was a very creative way to take the kick. Referee stops the clock. That was a great ball coming from the corner. Loops it in. Unofficially, that was uh, scored by Derek Huxford, their captain, number four. Oh no, sorry, that was, that was who passed the ball. I, couldn't quite tell if it what 18, if it was Schultz or who, but we'll get the official score on that one soon. But wow, what what a creative play. All right, see see what kind of character Egan has, see if they can create some chemistry. Loberg, nice low hard shot. Seventh shot by uh shot for the Wildcats. Evan Loberg, number nine. By the Wildcats. Kron, the knee ball. I like to really see Egan playing it in the air. When I say playing it in the air, that means like winning it up high. If, if you're playing it, let, letting the ball drop to your foot or your knee, or your, you're really not being aggressive getting it out of the air. Quicker you can get it out of the air and possess it, the, the less likely they'll be uh, touching it. Ball goes to the keeper. Okay, officially the uh, goal went to uh, Ulreich there. He was a sub who came in, that great run there. That was one of those uh, plays where the, uh, Derek Huxford, off the creative corner, uh, direct kick, just came in and looped it in. It was, Egan was playing way up, trying to, which was a right play, but yet at the same time, they, uh, Got creative, great call by the AR, actually it was offside. Um, guy came came from the offensive half and actually got called for it when he touched it on the defensive half. Can't get called for offside if you start in your old defense, but he started in his offensive side. Frost kicks it up in the air. Mitchell can't quite get it out of the air. Oatana plays it early, this could be dangerous. Kron stops there. Goes to Luke Anderson. Luke playing, playing it to his own feet, left footed. Let's see who's hungry on the Wildcats. The ball bounces. Adrian heads it. Brought to the Oatana. Call a handball. They're looking for a quick play. Like to see the Wildcats get back. All the guys between the ball and the goal. All right. Anderson picks it up. We have about 17 minutes gone. Coming on hard. Oh, oh, and Mitchell does a nice job shielding it. This is one of those things where Egan just puts themselves in a rough situation. If you have if the ball in the goalie's hands, you shouldn't be scrambling. We should be possessing it coming out of the defensive third. Great cross. Frost hus trying to hustle to get back in position. Nice, oh, he calls a penalty kick. Calls it, I uh, do not agree with that, but. I'm gonna chalk this one up to that the referee wasn't in the position where you usually are if you're running a three-man system. This kick will be taken by Captain Lane Versteeg. Luke Anderson crouching down, it's. And it goes corner. And that's, uh, it amounts to three shots for the Huskies and that's two goals. 
All right, let's see what's gonna happen now. Egan just is desperate to try to control the ball and get some action up front. Sub happens, Diego comes off, Hans Broman into the game, CDM. All right, let's, let's go Wildcats. Let's settle down and get a little chemistry. Knock it around a bit, knock it around. Just take the ball, there you go, playing it wide. Playing it wide, play it easy. We have three passes. Going for a quick one. Morales going in on the corner, looking for something. No one's quite there. Great left footed ball. Oh, Isaac. Oh. Isaac thought the Huskies were going to get it. They didn't. Bounces to him. Now they're in a scramble on a counter attack. Emilio picks it up nicely, plays it back to the keeper. Okay, we'd like to see an early ball to the feet. No, you don't have to go boom. It, we go boom. All right, and it goes to uh, goes to White. Like to see Wildcat play their their brand of soccer. We're just keeping it to the feet and knocking it around. Carlos trying to get to the ball, possesses it. He's trying to decide whether to turn or go to the keeper. Dribbles, dribbles, makes the turn. Can't quite get it. Commits a foul. Uh. I'd like to see the Egan back line. Just play the easier ball, play it early, play it safe. All right. All right. Versteeg loops it in, header, oh. Fourth shot by Oatana just goes wide. They're calling that a corner. Lane Versteeg. From the near side with Lane Versteeg, number nine, on the kick. All right, good, good play that happened down there. Um, not just because it's my kid, but Hans Broman asked Asked if the, the kick was on the whistle. They stood six yards away. He, he remembers that Rosemont game where uh, they didn't wait for a whistle. Rosemont took a quick kick while Egan was backing up. So um, that's one of the weird rules about uh, soccer need to be 10, but yet everyone does starts at like eight. Good clear by Owen Mitchell. It's another corner kick. Corner kick again for the Huskies, their fifth. Number nine on the Fifth kick. corner kick uh, by the Huskies. Let's see how the D is looking here. Oh my goodness. Anderson comes out, swipes it. It's a goal kick. Good. Referee says he ball didn't have it. You know, in terms of uh, commanding the game, this is where it's a real disadvantage. You, usually you have an AR that's looking from one angle. You have a center referee that's looking at the ball coming in. With only two officials, what you have is just a guy that's off the field and he's trying to look at both it's uh it's quite a challenge really nice to really like to see that third official show up at any time we'll throw him in the middle head ball loberg turns nice turn looks for an early ball to morales morales can't control it coming out Owatana does their uh big kick all right good communication between mitchell and anderson Barely makes it to the inside the goal area, but be nice to keep it blue here. All right, Kron goes to Kron. He needs to possess it to play it short. Goes long, and it's going to be uh, headed by Oatana, but goes to Morales. Oatana gets it back to Loberg, to Caputo, to Loberg. Comes in, big touch. Doesn't quite get it. Ball still in play. Drops it back to Melgar. Melgar shoots it over the goal. Good job. It's good to see, good to see the shot there. It's good to see a little uh, action taking place. Three or four passes. They start with a big long pass, which I'm not a huge fan of, but as long as we get it up in the air, Broman heads it to Loberg. Loberg can't quite get there. Emilio, nice step. He, oh, nice little chip. Oh, great ball by Emilio. Great ball by Emilio. Goalie almost comes out of the box. Good D by Gingrich. Hans takes it over. Goes to Caputo. Back to Gingrich. To Caputo. It's 
it's nice to see uh, Owatonna having to work for one now. Oh boy, better communication needed between Mitchell and Anderson. If Anderson's coming 10 yards out of the box, he better be uh, either calling it or getting out of the way. Throw in Owatonna. It's good to see a little possession by the Wildcats up there, getting a little creative. All right, to Caputo. Owatonna heads it down. Head ball, Broman to Caputo, to Gingrich. Looking long ball, can't quite keep it in. Ooh, it does stay in actually. And now it's a throw in blue. All right, Broman's gonna take it. Morales should get going. If this is going inside the box, it's inside the box. Morales goes, can't quite get it. Started a step or two late there. All right. Mitchell needs to get to that. Good job. Not sure where Kron is, why Kron's playing front on him. He's not moving to get to the space. Man, if so I hear the parents are yelling, Blue, you got to get back and help. As a defender, if the ball is passed behind the last defender, your position isn't to try to create a space. Your position is run behind the ball. Melgar to Broman to Loberg. Can't quite get it back to Broman. Melgar picks it up, goes outside. Blue throw. All right. We're going to take it. We should be off to the races here, boys. Right down the line. Loberg can't quite get it. Goes to Morales. The ball is coming in. Morales comes in. Caputo coming back. They're playing it outside to Versteeg. Goes that early. Good call by the Super AR, we'll call him. Super AR. You can make the call, you raise a hand and blow the whistle. Like to keep this blue here. Like to keep this blue. The big ball is played. Morales flicks it on to Caputo. Caputo brings it back to Morales. Left footed shot. Saved by the keeper, Vrasek. It's a ninth, ninth shot by uh, the Wildcats. It's good to see a couple uh, possessions now with the Wildcats. Now, defense has to get back. You've got to get back. Okay, Oatano guy fell down there looking for something, but you need to do something other than fall on the ground for a foul. Actually, there needs to be contact. Mitchell plays it outside to Gingrich. Gingrich turns it, looking upfield, uh, looking a little heavy. Big ball by Oatana. There's a theme here. There's a theme here. Owatonna's going big ball. Egan needs to play short ball here, but we're going big ball again. Big ball, one by Owatonna. Bangs plays it outside quickly. Boy, Owatonna's doing a nice job keeping the ball there. They do a nice clear. Loberg, left footed inside pass to Caputo. Caputo needs to release. He needs to release it. It's oh, it's just too far down the field in order to dribble. Ooh, thankfully we got the late call. I don't know if I agree with it, but we'll take it. Okay, let's see what the Wildcats do with this one. All right, it's, it's interesting. One AR, one super AR calls it. The other AR says, nope, the foul happened over here. Whatever, this will not be on the frame. I'm looking for a, a Broman to chip it up and over. It's up and over, the ball goes in. Ooh, Loberg just not quite, oh, he broke at just the right time. Loberg just couldn't beat the goalie to it. Okay, let's see what the Wildcats defense does. Anderson comes way out. Runs back, scoops it up. Love to see a roll to the outside here. Keep possession, love to see an early ball. Keeping it to blue instead of going big. Keep it to blue. Too late. Waiting too late for the balls coming out of the back line. Really like the uh, Egan back line to remember the game against Shakopee where they got burned two or three times, dinking with it in the back. Got to play the safe ball. Frost can't quite get it. Goes to 17. 17 puts it in the net. 
Goal by Zach Kirsch. That makes it 0-3. Just so much dangerous activity in the back line. Really love to see the uh, back line of the Wildcats. Um, play a short ball, play it safe. 0-3 is, you know, when you're looking at the shots on goal, unofficially, it's just me making hen scratches here, but Owatonna has five shots, three goals. Egan has 10 shots, no goals. So uh, granted one of those was a penalty kick and the odds are high that that'll go, go in, but uh, we got issues. We gotta make sure that back line is really confident in playing it short. All right, kickoff goes to Caputo. Caputo to Broman. Vince uh, Caparelli. All right, ball goes up. Jack Bland goes in the mixer. Jack Bland and Vince Caparelli are in. We gotta get to the ball. Here's another time where the uh, they're just running free. Got a mark up. Hands down blue, hands down blue. Big clear, like to see, all right, nice job, Jack Bland. Plays it to the corner, looks like it's gonna go to the goalie. Good idea. So Caparelli and uh, Bland come in, goes over McNair, scrambling in the back again. Foul is called on Bangs. Actually, this we got a little Bangs, little Bangs is nine. Little Bangs, ninth grader. All right, for, as a freshman, all right, playing it in the back. Let's see possession, knocking it around. Caprelli can't quite get there. Ball's out, throw in White. Captain Versteeg's coming out. Number three, uh, Burmeister coming back in. Both are starters, so they're uh, mixing up the positions a little bit. Oatana throws it. Cap can't quite control it. Ball goes to, uh, back to Oatana. All right, McNair tries to chest it, can't, can't bring it down. Ball goes to number 20. Ooh, Kron steps in and he gets called on it. Oh, yep, calls obstruction. So I think it'll be, see, this is where you have two referees on the field. The one that was 40 yards away calls it, yet there's one 20 yards away. He has to set it down and then uh, run back to his AR, super AR position. All right, Sam Henson is gonna take it or else Huxford, oh, nice cross, big cross. Guy's running free, oh my. A uh, lot of work, a lot of work to be doing on uh, in the back line of the Wildcats having guys run free like that. 10 minutes left in the first half. All right, like to see, uh, I really like to uh, seeing some of the possession going on. Couple good chances up, up front. McNair kicks it out. Oatana ball, they have the big throw, so gotta respect that. So this is basically set up. When you have a big throw, or it's like a set piece or a corner kick. See what they're gonna do with this one. Throws it in the box, it's always dangerous. Goes back to the server. Can't quite clear it. Roman p touches it, gets it to Bland. Nice hustle back by Jack Bland. Nice to see those legs moving. Need to show a little intensity. Adrian Morales can't quite get it. Chips it, uh, Caparelli coming back. Another situation where uh, Owatonna can't quite control it. Thankfully, the all right, Jack Bland turning it upfield. I like the lateral dribble creating space, trying to keep it wide, but 
mix up on the outside back. Outside back line goes to Kron. All right, we're gonna keep it blue here. Broman looks for the ball to the corner, over the top to the flank. Caputo running back. Nice step by McNair, nice step. Good left foot pass to Caputo. Look at this, that long cross is turning into five, six passes. McNair bringing it to the corner, looks for the cross, and it's a throw in. Love the corner flags. You always wonder why they're there. Now you can tell it's a throw in and not a uh, corner kick. All right, Broman's gonna be taking the throw in. Uh, expect a long throw to Morales' head. We haven't had an opportunity for one of these. So the ball comes in, goes up and over. It's in the mixer to Bland. Bland is looking to tee up, crosses it over, looks for the shot, inside pass. Broman gets it to Emilio, to McNair. McNair puts it in, shot and a save. Good to see a, a little flurry in the offensive third by the Wildcats there. All right, we gotta get this in the air, get this in the air. There we go. Bring it down, McNair plays it to the outside. Melgar coming up, Caparelli going, the pass doesn't quite connect. Dean up, there's a situation. There's The defense is back, but they're not marking. Uh, def they're called defenders if they're marking the other team. They're just in the back there. I'll call them fullbacks. Man, I'm telling you, I do a little uh, basketball drill. Make sure defenders are, if, you're, if you can't touch a guy, you're not marking them. But uh, thankfully, Owatonna was offside and nothing happened. Substitutions. All right. Roman coming out, Gingrich back in. Seven minutes left. All right, throw in for Oatana. Ooh, McNair just totally dumps the guy. Um, quite a foul that. Thinking he got off the Christmas card list there. Randall be taking the free kick. Like to see uh, Morales be between the ball and the goal on this because this just gives the kicker free free line sight to the to the ball if you just have a guy just standing there jumping he can't visually see who's open not that they'll stub it or kick a worm holocaust but just visually disturb them frost does a little bicycle kick to mcnair can't quite control it boy now this turns into a dangerous situation nelson nice through ball comes out goalie's out Ball's in the space, side netting. Whoa. Another situation where uh, just a simple trap and pass could have been done. We can't quite do it, and we avoid another huge scurry. Substitution now for the Wildcats. Jack Riley, number three, is in the game. Going off is Andrew McNair, number 21. McNair coming out. Uh, Jack Riley coming in, number three. Emilio bringing it up, measuring his steps to Riley, who just entered the game. Good job, by. Oop, can't quite get it to blue. And here we are back in this uh, defensive situation in a scramble. Like to see a quick release. Anderson kicks it, goes to Oatana, bounces over to Morales. Morales thinking Cap is staying outside, Caparelli is going inside, but he gets it back. Thankfully, Vince comes back, a nice little hustle. Uh, Riley can't quite possess it. Nice. Jack gets it. Nice touch ball to Caputo inside, outside to Morales, to Cap. Oatana kicks it wide. There's what I was talking about. If we test that touch in the back, if you touch that touch in the back, Oatana can, their outside backs are not going to be passing it well. It's kind of a boom, boom ball scenario. Morales tries to cross it in, goes right off Oatana, looking for a throw in. Morales, center forward, throws it to Jack Riley. Riley looking for the cross. Shot goes wide. I will say, un unofficially, I have uh, 12 shots for the Wildcats. 
not uh, not many of them are real quality shots uh, since there's only two saves, but uh, I like that they're looking at the goal. Morales does a quick turn outside of the foot to Caputo. Gingrich to Bland. Good shield by Oatana. Oatana tries to clear it. Bland smart gets it. Early cross, nice hard cross low. Jack Frost goes, and it's a corner kick. First corner for the Wildcats. Good to see a little possession again. If nothing else, it keeping this possession makes it so we're not scrambling so much in that back line. But I will say, we are selling the souls to the offense here. There's only one guy back, so we better get it. Or if it clears, they better hustle back. Frost swings, can't quite get it. Goes to Bland, this is nice. Great shot. Good shot by Jack Bland. Their uh, goalie heads up, knows that sold the soul to the offense. Handball called by Huxford and it'll be a direct kick for the uh, Wildcats coming back. Emilio does the long ball. Bland gets it, nice turn. Bland, ambitious shot. Turns into a throw in for the Oatana. Certainly looking for goal here. Two and a half minutes left, down 0-3. Like to get one before halftime here. Melgar taps it out, Oatana throw in. Throw in, Melgar puts him on the ground. It looks like it'll be a kick. Burmeister was, uh, went down trying to shield that ball. Rand will be taking the ball just about midfield. Once again, uh, no one's standing in front of the ball. Just kind of giving them that kick. Let's see, uh, Owatonna has Two guys on either side and one guy floating in the middle. Nice, good to see Vince Caparelli coming up, trying to be a visual distraction. Ball comes in, offside is called. Call is offside, Owatana, the direct free kick for the Wildcats. Okay. All right, Luke, uh, Luke Anderson will be uh, taking the kick. Oh. The uh, four offsides called on the uh, on Owatonna, so that the Super AR that we call them today has uh, been quite busy. None, zero offsides by the Wildcats. Ball goes right to White. Cron goes to Jack Riley. Like to see a little possession. Don't get anxious, guys. Keep it 10, 20 yards. There you go. Gingrich kicks it over, goes to White. White coming back storming. Boy, that uh, Harris just took off. Luke Anderson way out of the net. Kicks it out for a throw in. 28 seconds left. Goes to Schultz of Oatana, who goes inside. Foul is called. The referee really should stop this uh, clock here so Owatonna could get a fair kick in. He doesn't. Jack Bland is standing in front. Both hands up on Cron. They didn't call it. Good. All right, and that's uh, that's a halftime. So it's an 03, uh, 03 game, unofficially 13 shots for the Wildcats, five on five for um, Oatana. It is uh, senior day today, so we're going to be honoring the seniors. Um, you know, it takes a lot to, to run a program. Uh, many of these uh, kids have been playing in the Egan system for a long time, so. It'll be a 10 minute halftime. It doesn't appear that uh, the other official showed up. Adrian Morales' mom is wearing yellow. Maybe we could get her in to play an AR. Club AR on the second half here. 
So uh, this is Gus Broman. I'm going to sign off so you can enjoy the readings and the backgrounds of, of the, of the uh, teams read by our announcer, um, Dave. So uh, I'll come back for the second half. Welcome to Wildcat Stadium. And your name, honor of the class of 2020 boys soccer players and their families. Today we honor 14 very special seniors for their dedication, leadership, and contributions to Egan High School and the Wildcats boys soccer program. We take this opportunity today to recognize their hard work and wish them a happy and memorable senior year. And we'd also like to thank our Wildcat parents and families. You have played an important role in our high school community. The support of your son's efforts in the classroom and on the field has made everyone's experience richer. Your gifts of time, talent, and enthusiasm make our high school and community a better place. And now, let's meet our seniors. First, Captain Luke Anderson and his parents, Eric and Katie Anderson. His favorite soccer memory is playing in his first varsity game. His post high school plans, he plans to attend a university and study finance or chemical engineering, and that is Luke Anderson. Number 17, Emilio Herrera, team captain. His parents, Monse and Cesar Herrera. His favorite memory is going to Buffalo Wild Wings after every soccer win. His post high school plans are to attend a four year college and continue to play soccer. He would like to study athletic science. Number 17, Emilio Herrera. Number 18, Captain Adrian Morales, his mother Adriana Morales. His favorite memory is scoring seven goals his sophomore year. His post high school plans are to attend a community college to get his general studies completed, and then transfer to a four year college. He plans to study either computer programming or environmental engineering. Number 18, Adrian Morales. Next is Owen Mitchell, number two, his parents Ira and Angela Mitchell. His favorite soccer memory is getting closer to his team and becoming friends with his teammates. His post high school plans are to attend college either at UMD or UW Eau Claire or UW La Crosse. Number two is Owen Mitchell. Number three, Jack Riley, parents Tim and Kelly Riley. And his favorite soccer memory is hanging out as a team outside of practice during the summer. And post high school plans are to serve in the Marine Corps through ROTC. Number three is Jack Riley. Number four, Carlos Melgar. His parents Juan and Roxanne Melgar. His favorite memory is making varsity his junior year. And his post high school plans are to attend college next fall. Number four is Carlos Melgar. Next is number nine, Evan Loberg. Evan's parents are Shelly and Brent Loberg. And his favorite soccer memory is winning against Duluth East with all of the other Egan teams cheering us on, he says. And after high school, he plans to attend either UMD or UW Lacrosse. Number nine is Evan Loberg. Number 10 is Philip Caputo. His parents, Vivian Leonardo and Amilcar Caputo. And his favorite soccer memory is scoring a nice goal against the Luthiest. His post high school plans are to attend college or study abroad in Brazil. Number 10, Philip Caputo. Number 15, Caden Rainford and his mother Darla Rainford. His favorite soccer memory during tryouts and everyone puts in as much effort as possible. His post high school plans are to attend college and study marine biology. Hayden Rainford. Number 20, Carter Weber and his parents, Ann Gressman and Brad Weber. His favorite soccer memory, he says, almost scoring the winning goal with Adrian against Rosemount. After high school, his plans are to attend UMD and continue to play soccer and do some skiing. Number 20 is Carter Weber. Number 22, Diego Lopez. His parents, Willie and Maria Lopez. His favorite memory, when we won against Duluth East on their turf, he says. After high school, Diego plans to attend college and continue with soccer. He also plans to continue playing in Sunday leagues. Number 22 is Diego Lopez. Number 58 is Kyle Berg. 
and his parents, Jessica and Marshall Berg. His favorite soccer memory in 10th grade when he stopped Prior Lake's penalty kick attempted, which kept the game a tie. And his post high school plans are to attend college and study music and music education. He hopes to continue to play soccer. Number 58 is Kyle Berg. <laughs> Next is Garrett Haswell, his parents Andrea and Dave Haswell. His favorite soccer memory is going undefeated freshman year and scoring goals for his team. His post high school plans are to attend Winona State University and study sports medicine. Gareth Haswell. Our final senior, Jackson Hedegaard. His parents, Michelle Ganson and Randy Hedegaard. And his favorite soccer memory is playing in the pouring rain freshman year and winning. And his post high school plans are to attend the University of Minnesota. He will study biology. Jackson Hedegaard. As our seniors and their families continue the journey towards graduation next June, let's thank them all with a round of applause for their contributions they have made to Egan High School and to the Egan Wildcats boys soccer program. Seniors, we wish you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Congratulations to the Egan Wildcats boys soccer class of 2020. You have so much to be proud of. Fans, thank you for helping us celebrate this very special day. They took the field with the Wildcats for the introductions in the National Anthem, and they are serving as our ball crew, working the sidelines and the end lines today. And a big thank you to them once again. With us are Owen Bakkenstedt, Jacob Gibson, Dylan St. Germain, Anthony Rodriguez, Saki Mohammed, and Christopher Gonzalez. Great job so far, and we're glad you're with us. Ball chasers from Dakota Hills. All right, it was a great Halftime uh, ceremony honoring the seniors of the program, and Dave, our PA announcer, always does a great job. Um, actually, he does a lot of the uh, high school title games at uh, U.S. Bank Stadium for uh, both boys and girls soccer. So, uh, starting this uh, second half, um, there is a, one thing that I didn't mention in that first half is that there's a super stiff wind. So looking at the corner flags, looking at the flag, uh, the American flag, and uh, walking down in the stands at halftime, it's a stiff win. So positive news is is that uh, the Wildcats will be going with the wind, this big stiff wind. So, that, you know, when it comes to the boom ball time, what any balls in the air, punts, or long, long clears will go five, seven yards further. So uh, Vera, the center, Official never showed up, so uh, wait a second. Yeah, he he didn't show up, so we're still going with with two. He's a little bit confused because one of the ARs says grabbing his flag. Well, now I'm now I'm questioning it because I see a guy in the center, but I have a guy with the flag. Oh, there he is. We're gonna. He's getting dressed, and uh, hopefully he gets put on the, on the line. As, a, as an official, you kind of want to know what the vibe of the game is halfway through, knowing who's kind of been doing the cheap shots, who's not. So he'll be, the uh, third official will be running the line here, and uh, they'll uh, move one of the super ARs to the center. So this will be nice to have a full crew now. Wildcats starting with the, let's see here, eh, Morales is out there, Bland, Caputo, Broman, Loberg, Melgar, in the back, uh, Owen Mitchell, Weber, Cron, in nets is uh, senior captain Nick, and then, uh, I'm sorry, Luke Anderson, and uh, Isaac Gingrich out here on the left here. All right, we're back in. I'm looking for... Much better possession. I'm sure uh, Coach Tim Foley talked about the, the desire to possess the ball. There's a ball that, uh, like I said, with that wind, it goes a little bit further. It's just a ball by Luke clears out. All right, the ball. Ball is right there. Everyone, Dakota Hills uh, soccer team, uh, the boys uh, team are the ball. 
ball boys this morning. I always appreciate them. All right, good pressure on Blue. We win the ball back. Nice, good to see. Ball down the line, Caputo coming into the box. He's getting dangerous. Drops it to Adrian. Adrian has it, can't quite get it. Big clear, Broman keeps it in. Oh, shot, blocked, coming back. Good pressure by the Wildcats. Look at this, it's staying in. This is good sign. This is a way to come out after a sec second half. All right, to the corner, Loberg. Little touch of Morales, P playing it back to Broman. Broman looks cross. Nice touch by Gingrich, goes outside for a throw in. All right, good to see this. Good to see this possession going on. It's three passes, Gingrich can't control it, kicks it out, oh, it's on a ball. All right, good to see, good to see that. Bangs gonna be taking the throw in. We'll call him Big Bangs. Little Bangs is freshman, Owen Mitchell. Ball's thrown in. All right. Big Bangs taking it down the line. Carter Weber battling with Asad Ali. Ali takes it. Weber, it's off of Ali. Good job by Carter Weber. Senior Carter Weber takes it, throws it into Gingrich. Not fake flick. Caputo, left footed pass. Adrian not uh, where he wanted him. All right, Broman pressures in the middle. They go to Ali. I thought. Looked offside, but he obviously wasn't. I think someone on the far side kept him. Ali going in, dangerous ball. Kron kicks it, semi-clear, big shot. Anderson clears it. Okay, there's a situation. Oatana comes charging in on the, on the goalie. None of our defenders went back to in case there was a rebound. Thankfully, Luke Anderson had the uh, scotch tape hands. All right, Loberg turning the corner. Oatan on the Oatana defender, tries battling it back. Bland gets it. Whistle's called on Oatana. This is great. Oh, no, it's just a throw in, but still, look at the pressure now. Looking a little bit more serious about wanting to play this game. This is great. And Loberg heads it just wide of the goal. This is so exciting to see. If I'm a coach, I'm looking at this possession, I'm saying, let's play this. Let's play this. Let's do this, boys. Little bit of uh, possession, little bit of crossing. Good to see the desire coming out. Bland keeping it alive, Lober keeping it alive. Shot goes just wide, exciting to see. Let's, now it'd be nice to see Wildcats win a 80-20 uh, ball. Call it 80-20, 80% of the time goes Owatana. All right, Egan gets it. We win the 80-20 ball, uh, unfortunately it just bounces out. All right. All right, white throw. Roman didn't want to slip on the track and he didn't want to give the ball back. Want to make sure he's in possession before he gives the ball back in play. All right, early ball by Caputo. Header, big bangs to Ali. Caputo gets it, plays negatively, love it to Weber. Ooh, doesn't quite get to Gingrich. Gingrich doing a nice job, doing team defense. Look at this, love this. Good ball, ball stuck in a go for hole. Comes out, Caputo gets it, digging deep. Caputo, good team defense. Gingrich to Morales, it's gonna be a throw in. All right. Morales to Broman, cross in, great early ball! Oh my goodness, Loberg just had it at his feet. Great early ball by Broman, crossing in. Good timing by Loberg, such a nice ball. Great play by Loberg, save. Saved by Verasek. Good to see it. Broman heads it in. Oh, he calls hands on the back. All right, that's the call that you went, You didn't get the whole first half because no one was in the middle. He couldn't see it from the sidelines. I think they're trying to make up for the whistles in the middle. All right. Blue is going to let the uh, kicker visually see everyone that's at play now and not put anyone there. All right, long ball. Anderson coming out, coming way out. All right, tapped off. He's calling it a uh, throw in. Huxford wants something else. I, I don't know if he wants a handball, but I mean, it was a handball. Ooh, got to be careful with the hands. Good job, Carter Weber. Little toe poke to Gingrich. Gingrich puts it back in. Be ball for the Huskies here. 
Huxford defers to Big Bangs. Big Bangs has a big throw, so uh, it's going to be a big scramble here. This narrow field here at Egan. Doesn't quite get it into as far as he could. Good clear by Caputo. Morales hustling. Big ball by the fullback in the back there. Touched by Owen Mitchell. Caputo to Gingrich. Gingrich looking for early ball. Keeps it to blue. Morales can't quite get it. Loses the wheels. Caputo. Okay, once again, this is going back to what I was saying early on. The, the back line of Owatonna, is, they're just booming it. They're not, they can't possess it. So I'd like to see some medium balls just being played in there because if the ball's going back, it's not going to white. It's just going to get booted. All right, Owen can't quite get it to blue. They're off to the races. All right, Schultz is coming in, takes a big shot. Anderson saves it. Now you'll enjoy a oh, big throw there. Very nice release to Melgar. Keeping it blue, love it. Nice ball, Loberg plays it. I really like Loberg's play, how he just settles it and then he waits for another ball. A lot of times forwards just run away. Little heavy on the pass, it's a goal kick. But notice the difference. I mean, I know the wind played part of, oh, it's not a goal kick, it's a throw in. But notice, uh, you know, once you're playing possession, oop, a little push uh, called on Jack Bland. Keep interrupting myself, but what, what I'm trying to say is if you're playing a medium little size ball, you can go down the field quite fast. And the assistant coach of Egan gets a yellow card. Um, not exactly that sure what. And now it's a red card. Can't quite tell what was seen or heard, but obviously this AR's had enough of Trevor. Back in the bags, unfortunate to see. That's a little disappointing. I mean, at uh, 32, I mean, yes, the boys are really battling. The energy is turning. And now we have, it's, it's basically like a timeout here that uh, resets and assistant coach gets kicked out of the game. Two yellows. All right, Owen Mitchell, Ali looking to, to release, team pressure. All right, staying with their guy. Broman gets it back. Caputo to Broman. Oh, big trip. Oh my goodness, Ali gets a yellow card for that? I mean, I am telling you, card happy. I mean, truth be told, he followed my own son, and I don't think it was a yellow card, but now it makes me wonder what two cards were given on the sideline. But uh, anyway, I think uh, he's excited to be in the middle and have the game to himself here. All right, we'll see. Uh, cards are getting a lot of use here in the last minute. All right, we'll see what uh, what's done with this ball. Wide ball played, I like that. Yeah, oh, can't quite get it to him. I guess I don't like it. Got to keep the ball in play. Mel is behind Melgar about 10 yards, couldn't quite get there. Fortunate when we can't keep it blue on a direct kick. Kron stepping up, nice step. Good inside of the foot, Kron fouls him. I'd be careful if I was Kron. You just saw three cards given out in the last 30 seconds. All right, Caputo. They go with the early kick. Anderson coming out. Loves coming out, by the way. No goalie in the net. Big boot. And it's a high fly ball, and the pink guy punches it. That's one you have to catch, and they call a PK. Oh, no, nope, they don't call a PK. He points to the spot where the foul was occurred, which is also the, the indication for a penalty kick. So, uh, oh, my goodness. So Wildcats get it out of the box, coming clear. All right. Quick, easy touch. And love this. This is four passes. This is Wildcat soccer. Looking like soccer here for Blue. Down, down the field to, oh, just out of play. Okay, look at that. What it was, was is it was similar to a goal kick, 10 yards away, four medium passes, controlled, and a chance on goal. Loved it, loved it. 
And that isn't even due to the win because none of the balls were oh, kicked more than 15 yards. Love the possession. All right, Broman goes up, heads it, wins the ball to Loberg. Loberg going down that line, coming down. Loberg's doing a great job make, coming around that corner, looks for the goal line run, goes down, pops back up. This is how some of this action's happening is Bland gets the ball and then uh, throws it. Quick throw in by uh, Melgar. Morales inside to Caputo. Caputo falls down and they call a penalty kick. That was a fantastic dive. Getting the penalty called. Why not? Go down if the ref is excited about calling. Who knows, there might be a card accompanying that. Caputo goes down, 30-31. Good job, Caputo will be taking it. Caputo is one for, uh, one for two on the year. Placed one really nice in the low in the, the first game against Roseville. Put one over against Duluth East. This time Caputo goes low, keeps it on the ground. Nicely done. Celebrating senior day, it's 1-3. Okay, this is the energy. If I, was, uh, if I was Coach Foley, I'd be leaving what's going on here and let things transpire. I love it, loving this possession. You know, it isn't even all about winning. It's just looking at how the game is meant to be played, and Egan slipped into that. This first 10 minutes, they're really slipping into how the game is meant to be played. Play a ball seven to 10 yards. Do that four times, and you're down the field. Put one on goal. Nice job. Good job by uh, the blue getting inside the box. Caputo goes down. Penalty is called, and here we are. One three, and the energy is going to the blue. All right, look at this, Jack Bland getting in there. I'm loving the fire that the guys have. Throw in, all right, Broman's coming over for a big throw. Look for this going right down the line to try to earn a corner. Goes in, all right, and they, uh, yep, putting pressure on that Oatana back line who just booms it out. Can't quite get possession. Oatana coming back, looking for a quick turn. All right, haven't seen this, this half at all, I love it. Blue's doing a great job just possessing. Carter, Carter Weber kicks it out. Owatonna ball. All right, if you can, can't can tell, I'm a little excited how we played the last Back 10 minutes. Showing a little passion, nicely done. Goal kick. Goal Owen kick Mitchell does a great job of just uh, playing the possession. You have to be able to touch the ball. So you have to be within touching distance. Shielded the ball goes out. Love to see uh, Egan moving a little bit to get open for Captain Anderson to deliver this goal kick. Big kick, oh my goodness. Yeah, there's where you can see the wind comes in a factor because it went way over halfway line. All right, good team defense out in the middle. They bre breaking through, but we close down. Oh, and the referee doesn't like the arm up on uh, Ball, Owen Mitchell. Takes down Caden Nelson. Uh, so it's uh, quite a few yards away. If I'm blue, yeah, it looks like they're gonna be building about a four foot wall. But excuse me, not four feet, four man. Well, I guess I was right, it's a four foot wall, but with two guys, so. Some of the best work is unintentional up here in the box. Now they added a third guy here. Oatana puts a guy on. They're shooting a right footed shot. Easy save by Anderson, but for those watching, did you see there are no blue running toward Anderson? If that's a rebound, it's actually an Oatana goal. Love to see some blue kind of support their goalie. Going to that corner again, it's gonna roll off the table for a goal kick. Goal kick for the Huskies. It's one of the things Egan really needs to work on is, um, you know, if the ball's going at the goalie, it's no longer with your guy, but what if there's a rebound? They have to stick with their guy the entire time. Goal kick for Oatana. You know, it's really too bad. There's so much positive energy going on. Blue was possessing it everywhere, and then, uh, then we had that little interlude with a couple cards distributed, and now we can't quite find that same momentum. Broman finds a early ball to Emilio, little long. Big boot by Oatana. There it is, quintessential patented trademark boot. Out of bounds. 
Carter Weber takes it up about 12 yards further than when it went out. That's fine. That nothing called. Adrian Morales to Caputo. Caputo can't quite ship it on with the left foot. Morales applying abundant pressure. Go, looks outside. Goes to Melgar. Some soccer's happening. Going to the outside. Loberg serves it in. Nice and low to Caputo. One strike. Saved by Veracet. Oh my goodness. That was lovely soccer there. Inside, outside, up the middle, Emilio over to the left, over to the right, cross back in. Delight to see, another shot on goal. All right, good, good team defense, good team defense. Goes out, goes out, goes out. Oh. All right. They stopped the clock. Bangs didn't want to stop, didn't want an early throw in. Broman wanted the ball. In order to get the ball, he pulled the jersey of Bangs and no cards were given. Nice ball down the line, still in play. Bangs kicks it out for a throw in. Moms and dads want a foul to be called, but it'll be a throw in, which in this scenario should be about the same as a kick. Hopefully Broman can serve it in here. Look for a big head to, to Morales. Okay, I'd like to see this get in the mixer and have uh, Blue show some of the tenacity that they've been showing in the last 10 minutes. Roman throws it in. It's right in the mixer. Heads out. Goes to the 18. Blue is scrambling. Gets it back. Nice job. It stays blue. There you go. Keeping pressure on. I'm loving it. Melgar, early service. Chip. Collected by Emilio, shot over the top. Great job. That's all right, boys, keep it up, keep it up. Keep up that pressure. Long throw-ins, keep the ball in play. And then the scramble happens, and look, now it's a goal kick. Loving this, the possession, if we had a possession arrow, it'd be staying blue. Good job, the Wildcats, this first 15 minutes. Love to see this uh, energy stay. All right. Goal kick, Oatana, who wants it? Who wants it for Blue? Broman goes up, goes back to Blue. All you have to do is challenge it. There you go, goes to Blue, Melgar, to Loberg. He's looking down that line. Bland, shuts the guy aside. Look for Oatana to clear it. There's the boot. All right, all right, this is exactly what we want. We got what we want, we'll get a, we'll toss it in early. The ball's in, heads, ooh, Morales and, um, and Emilio were crashing the goalie at the same time. That was a very nice play. Dangerous ball played in the box. Goalie having to step up, and suddenly we care more. Owen Mitchell sweeping. Ali takes the ball, boots it to Weber. Emilio playing, doing a nice job. They try to heel pass it, can't quite keep his feet. Caputo playing tight D. Weber staying on his guy. Very nice job. Ali's getting free. Weber needs to get on that guy again. And there's Ali. We, we need to not play position. We need to play man-to-man -man in those scenarios. Broman goes down, slips on the turf. White looking to swing it. Oh, need a better touch there. Low. All right, Carlos Melgar. Uh-oh, he broke free. Verstig, early cross. Blocked, and it's a corner kick. Corner kick, upcoming All right, this is the first, the second half the first corner kick of the second half that goes to show you the amount of pressure that the Wildcats are putting on all right Versteeg looking to curl it in runs are being made big swing headed out by Broman Caputo heads it to Bland like to keep it blue to Broman Broman looking for an early ball holds it looks looks for the cross not quite having the punch up front that we're looking for Goes to the goalie. All right. Mitchell steps up. Kron trying to find the ball. Heads it. Nice job. Broman to Bland. Tries to one touch it. Doesn't quite go there. That's going out of bounds, I hope. Yep, off the table. I always joke about the crown on this field and how it's not great for soccer, but uh, after the rains last night, we're, uh, we're pleased with the drier field. Referee's kind of sick of everyone jumping up 7, 8, 12 yards on the throw-in, especially in front of the opposing team's bench. Calls Melgar back. 
Throws it on the ground to Caputo. Melgar looks long. Adrian knows it's over his head. Nice job running in. Good job, Emilio. Brings it to the floor, looks to chip it in. Too much business for Oatana. Goes right to Loberg, shoots, and it's out of bounds. Here we go, it's a blue throw in. Let's see blue uh, bounce this in, put it in the mixer. It's 1-3, there's energy. Oop, they're mixing it up. Bland to Broman, crosses it into Morales. Can't quite control it, but look at this, it's staying blue. Staying blue, plays to the outside. Emilio looks for another cross over to Loberg. Bland will be in the mixer here. Look at this. Oh, calls a handball, I'm guessing, on Jack Bland coming out. Not a bad play. I'm liking Jack's intensity, and this is just ratcheting it up. Think about the risk and the reward. If he gets it, if they don't see the handball, he's going in on goal. If they call it, it's just like a goal kick that might have occurred anyway. Good job by Jack Bland. Headsy play. I'm liking the uh, chemistry. The, this is the most chemistry the last 19 minutes that I've seen this Wildcat team do since uh, Duluth East. So love to see a little bit more of this. Okay, they're running down now. Oatana's trying to gather. Once again, Egan is possessing. Loving this. Outside to Emilio. Good to ball. Looks to play it big wide. Loberg will drop it to his feet. He's looking inside. Goes outside. Love it. Melgar taking it down. He has Bland. He's going to try to take it himself. Does a little pullback to Bland. Nice cross, bending cross, just scooped out. He kept alive, loving this blue ball. It is so fantastic, seeing this intensity. Kron to Broman. Little deflection there, but it stays blue, loving it. Blue, blue is Karen right now. Unfortunate pass, that's all right. Breaks it up. Carter Weber, he's the worker. Watch this, it's hard hat night with Carter Weber coming back. All right, hand goes up, no, no call is made. Excellent job, excellent job by Carter Weber, just hustling back. It goes to show you, even if you can't get the ball, if you're just causing a distraction, visual distraction, just he just rushed. Little bangs, little bangs, the ninth grader just Ended up dribbling and having to just do a little kick shot. Short corner, Caputo scooches it out. Big shot by, all right, good playing it negatively to Carter Weber. White gets it, but once again, they just bounce it back. It's more of like a batter board on that back line for Owatonna, so if we can uh, get some uh, balls to that back line and start playing. Caputo taking space, he's heads up, looking to pass. Guy coming behind him, nice pass to the outside to Emilio. Emilio taking some time, drills Caputo in the back. There's a give and go you don't see in practice much. Big clear, and it's a corner kick for the Wildcats. All right, I'm loving this. Some positive energy, some good possessions, some good chances. What I like is that the, the Wildcats aren't just rushing it, they're letting it Go in and, oh, he's calling the subs. All right, Vince Caparelli will take Broman out at the CDM the spot. And Jake Frost will be coming in at the left uh, defense for, for Carter Weber. Love to see this cats. high energy occur still. Low kick, ball gets tipped in by Adrian Morales. Nice cross. Well done, a bending curve on that corner kick by Jack Bland, Morales, bottom of the cleats, rolls it in, loved it. That energy coming in, it's 2-3. Boy, oh boy, it's good to see the tables turning here at Wildcat Stadium. 2-3, That just that continual pressure, good job. I like that curling ball in by Jack Bland on that corner and then Morales tapping it in, loved it, loved it. Morales has been scoring many goals just inside the sixth, being at the right place at the right time. That's a difficult thing to coach. All right, ball goes out, another corner kick. This is what I've been saying, put the pressure on that back boomer line of, of the Huskies. Okay, Bland's looking, this will be an outswing this time. He'll be taking a corner kick with the right foot. 
Swings off the goal line, outside to Caparelli. Caparelli can't control it, goes to Bland. Another corner. Cap needs to kick it. Oh, looking for the kickstart. Morales trying to kick it, and it's just a big boom. Patented trademark, big boom out of there for the Huskies. Okay, Jacob Frost throws it in, goes to the ball, oh, handball called. I guess it's called a, a push. All right, this is exciting. This is good to see some tenacity and they're caring as much as the parents who have uh, brought all the food for uh, the senior celebration after the game. It's good to see. Digging deep. All right, Caparelli, fresh legs, almost gets it. Owen Mitchell, nice one touch out, center. Center mid, Caparelli putting pressure on. Versteeg is still holding that. Evan Loberg plays it negatively, love that. Love how Loberg, even though he's, he was playing up top, he's been dropping it back and just keeping it. So much of that action on that right side has been with Loberg playing it negatively, looking for it. Carlos, keep going, take your space. Looks corner for Bland, they call offside. Wildcat that would have been called first ball. half with only two officials. Oh. All right, 16 minutes left, plenty of time. The wind is, isn't quite as fierce, but certainly is blowing steadily and a huge advantage for those Wildcats out there, especially on ball like this, doesn't quite move the zone. Bland to Loberg. To Morales, I'm loving the chemistry on that right side. They're really understanding that a little one-two punch pass goes a long way. Frost using his body, shields Ali. Caputo looks for this kickstart heel pass. Luckily, Owatana kicks it back to Blue. Melgar steps up to Kron. Kron takes out Melgar, coming back. All right, Owen is hustling back. Once again, Sampson going in. Ooh, can't quite control it. Just that one missed touch. Thankfully, Ali to Vries and Kron, nice clear. Just coming in and sweeping it out. This is the first time that uh, Oatana's been uh, having, having some pressure. Gingrich coming back in uh, for Emilio. All right, look for a big big throw by Verstig here. Medium throw, hands down. Good job, Caputo. Caputo's dribbling it out. Oh boy, he's it's one on four. Let's see what he does. Blue needs to provide some options. A call is made. Not a bad foul by Alex Ulrich. They call that a tactical foul. What do you want, a guy running full speed or just take him down and have a free kick 45 yards out? Surprised with the uh, that earlier yellow that that wasn't a yellow because it definitely uh, stunted an advantage for Caputo running full tilt down the middle of the field. There were two other players behind him, but still it was quite an advantage. So Caputo, I. Let's see if he's gonna be putting it on the frame. It, it is disarray out there. They have a two-man wall, but yet there's a, there isn't a line of Oatana defenders after that. Caputo puts it on the, oh. Uh, <laughs> the free kick, shot taken, Philip Off the field goal the post. That'll be a uh, goal kick. Goal kick, Oatana. Good attempt. You know, this better not be uh, audited by any accounting firm, but I have that that was the 18th, uh, excuse me, 19th shot by the Wildcats. Um, not many of them were of, uh, of vim and vigor in that first half, but the second half, getting some real chances now. Yeah, there's actually uh, seven shots in the second half, four on goal. Good stats by Dave, our PA announcer. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you, Kron. Nicholas Kron plays it back to Luke. Luke, touch to Owen. Owen to Caputo, and the tables turn quickly. Caputo looks for the early ball. Vince Caparelli coming through. 
They kick it out. It's going to be a throw in. Throw in. O Owatonna guys down. Clock has stopped. Injury on the field. Stopping the clock. It looked. Uh, Caparelli and the injured player were going on at the same time. That's Sam Henson, the defender, senior captain. They stopped the clock. I'll get on my soapbox right now. The high school love the way they manage the clock. In all, uh, in all other sports, uh, excuse me, in all other soccer, they, uh, the official time is kept by the center. So who would have kept that official time? You'd have a guy on the AR and then the center, and so I appreciate the, the fact that uh, we, everyone in the stands knows exactly how much time is left, how much uh, time is left on the clock, and uh, they, they believe it's fair. They can attend to the uh, injured player. We're on a back into the game. And there is no unsportsman like because no one thinks that he's faking. And if he's hurt, he's hurt. So just uh, I appreciate the uh, stop clock rule. But unfortunate for Sam Henson, who's uh, going out under uh, under help with, uh, with two people being uh, assisted off the field. So. is going to re resume with a throw-in for the Wildcats. All right, and then uh, I really believe this helps with the, uh, the sportsmanship because everyone can attend to the injured player and there isn't any faking or feigning of anything. Then when everyone's back in their position, referee signals and the clock restarts. Throw in by Jacob Frost. Doesn't quite hit the Wildcat players, but Kron is up. He has to play the ball early. Very good to Frost. Sees Adrian. Nope, goes outside to Gingrich. Gingrich looking goal line, fakes goal line, kicks it inside. It's look, expect a big boom. This is the deal. We got to box this in. Kron not, not sure whether to go or retreat. Kind of does both and it bounces back and it goes off white. Blue throw in, 12, 12 and a half left. Frost tries to go sideline, earns another throw in. Gingrich defers to Frost. Frost playing that left back position. Looks to throw it in, not quite sure what's going on here. Jacob Frost throws it to Morales. Gingrich goes up. Bland gets it out of the air to Loberg, and they call offside. That's where it really helps to have a uh, assistant referee because even from up here in the box it sure didn't look offside but when you have a guy staring down that line and that's his sole purpose in life for the next 40 minutes he's going to make that call and see it oh a ton of ball they're good at the long ball kicking it big and it's scooped up by blue all right gingrich heads it down to caputo caputo on the ground to Morales, a little heavy, the off-season weight program, a little much for oh, Caputo. 11.40. Goal kick for uh, the Huskies. This is, uh, this is where you see the difference of the Wildcats this half, is that they're actually trying to win it in the air. Gingrich gets it out of the air to Bland. Bland, a nice ball on the ground. Lober can't quite get it, pushes him in the back, foul. It's coming out for uh, the Huskies. I'm I'm actually of the of the uh, school of thought that you just put pressure on those Huskies in the back, and then it'll be just boomed out, and we'll get a throw, and no need to foul too often down there. Let them make the mistake. Get it back to Blue. Wind continues to to spin. Be a Husky throw in. Throw in, one by Melgar, goes off his foot though. Huskies throw. Ball's in, headed off of Mitchell's head. It's going in, it's getting dangerous. Big clear, Luke comes out. A little punch, if, if you punch it and it's below your neck, it really should be catch, but catch that last one. A Little bit of a scramble, like to see this big punt now with the wind. Bland takes it out of the air. We control it. I love that negative possession. Bringing it back, creating some space. 
to Morales. Little heavy with the kick. 10 minutes left and uh, Oatana looking to switch up some stuff. Yep, hands in the back. Verstig, yeah, for the younger players watching this, you know, when you're going up for a header, go straight up. Anytime you put, as an official, I can never tell how hard they're pressing on your back. People say, well, no, I want to make sure they don't jump into me. Well, it looks like you're pushing them. They'll call that 100 times out of 100. So I, I'd like to see a little ball be played here. They're going big, though. Comes in and look for a big ball coming out by the Huskies. Oh, they're dribbling it, keeping a little possession. Chip ball to the sidelines. Owens right there. Nice defense. Picked up by Little Bangs. Quick throw in to Ollie. This is dangerous. This is so dangerous. Goalie's out of the net, and, it's, and he calls a penalty kick. That's a ball you just got to let him have. It was going out of bounds. It doesn't matter. It would have been a goal kick or a corner kick. Instead, a foul was committed by Luke Anderson, and it's going to result in a penalty kick. Uh, tough Paul. Tough, uh, tough play it there. As an official, you're going to call that. Um, if the guy is fouled Ali, and goes Ali, down Ali, like that, the between the, the, the man's between the ball and, and the person, and you dive for it, they're going to they're going to call that every time. Even if it went to result in a in a play or a, or a or a goal. Ali's taking the kick, Anderson on the line, kick. Anderson guess left, goes right, and it's a two goal differential again, the 2-4. Let's see what kind of character Egan has. Let's see, uh, let's see if uh, they had that momentum. Honestly, this entire half they've had that momentum. Let's see if they can dig deep and uh, restore that. All they have to do is get two good things and it's all tied up. You know, it, it's the last, this half has actually resulted in some good chemistry of keeping the ball in possession and passing it around. And so I'd like to see that be restored here. Foul is called on Caputo on Verstig. Oatana kicks it in. Anderson coming way out, clears it. Actually over the fence and poor ball boy has to basically run down Pennsylvania Avenue. It's in the evergreen trees. Verstig taking the throw in for the Huskies. Good throw, Anderson calls him off, collects it with his hands. Looking for a quick release here, big kick. Morales is there, look at, doesn't get anything on it. Let's the Huskies play it into his possession. Not a bad play, oh, the 15 totally just pushed Morales. Drew Randall just full arm extension there. It's gonna get exciting down here. Jack Bland taken to the corner, fakes the cross. Now crosses it in beautifully with the left foot. Morales collects it, collects it with the left, bounces off. Oh, great pressure, great pressure. Verstig, nice touch. And Caparelli coming back. They're uh, coming back, good job by uh, the Wildcats. Cap coming back, disrupting Ali. And they're, they're calling it uh, against Ali, blue ball. Like to see a seven minutes left. We've, we've certainly lost our vibe the last uh, five, six minutes here, so I'd like to see that Egan vibe back again. Otana looks to clear, but it misclears and goes to their player. Versteeg settles it. Ooh, hard tackle from behind to Loberg. That's, that'll be a card. That's a yellow. Unfortunate, Loberg's been playing so well. We actually need him out there doing some of that negative, uh, negative ball. 
senior uh, Jackson Hedegar coming in for uh, Jackson Hedegar coming in. Clock is stopped. Caparelli off. Roman back in. And then uh, Jacob Frost coming off with Carter Weber, the senior, coming back in. 6.45 left. All right, I like what Jack Bland is doing here. Jack Bland is staying between the ball and the goal. All right, serves it in. Header. Good job by Gingrich. Nice D by Owen Mitchell. Cleared out. Bioa town of ball. Big Bangs throws it in. Heads it to Owen Mitchell. Owen can't quite clear it. Goes to Luke Anderson. Oh my gosh. That's another situation where Little Bangs is coming in. We don't have one blue going back to Luke Anderson. We're just assuming he's going to keep it in the, in the hands. Good collection by Owatonna midfield. All right, Carlo can't quite settle it down. Mitchell, nice one touch. Outside, handball. Called quickly there. All right, there's six minutes left. No need to rush, but uh, certainly no, no reason to dawdle. All right, like to see a medium ball to keep it blue here. Oh, goes to Carter Weber, keeps it medium. Goes in, big ball coming back. All right, big jump. Going out to Ali, Carter stays true. Mitchell stays with his guy. Little bangs, kicks it early. Right to Anderson, Melgar looking to keep it blue. Looks for the big ball down to Jackson Hedegar going down the line. Mel, Good job, Adrian Morales coming back. There's that Oatana boom. There we go, it is a corner kick. All out of bounds off the Huskies, corner kick for the Wildcats. Either fourth, of the game. fourth corner here. Hans Broman will be taking that. It'll be an in swinger. All right. Love to see a, a quick one here. Be nice to get a noggin on this. Go up. Isaac Gingrich being playing the little troublemaker right there in goal. Oh, nice on the near post. Right back for another corner. All right. They're looking for a. Looking for another uh, corner. Hand signals mates, bending in, header, goal! Yes, Caputo scores. He doesn't know that the clock stopped, rushes in, gets clotheslined by the net, and it is a 3-4 game. Corner by Hans Broman, bending in. Assist to Broman, headed in by Caputo. Nice header, well done. It, we're looking at a 3-4 ball game, guys. 4-2-8 left on the clock. That energy is coming alive. All right, let's go. Let's go, Cats. All right, ball's coming out. Kyle, ooh, I turn my head and we have a new goalie. Kyle Bergen in for the Nets. Ali looking, Owen Mitchell shielding. Broman on the ball. Little bangs, goes to clear. Broman to, clears it to Caden. Kate, a nice little step over. Ooh, stepped over the second time. Lost it. Big Bangs comes out with it. A little worm holocaust. Settled down to Car Carlos. Check him back as Phil Caputo goes to turn. Nice. Good job by Caputo. Big Bangs there. Oh, it doesn't clear it out. Now they're saying it went out. It went out. That is a bad call, but you got to go with it. We have three. Ball's at midfield, 3.39 left to go. Okay, Wildcats should be uh, hustling back with some energy here. All right, ball's down Ali to, to Little Banks. Little Banks coming in, and it's off the top shelf. Little Banks comes in off the quick throw in, goes right down the line, and uh, Puts the game at a 3-5 status. Diego coming in for uh, Broman. And at uh, Caputo uh, having a campaign here on the uh, AR, thinking that the ball was out of bounds.
Another caution issued on the Wildcats. Number 10, Philip Caputo. And 7640. All right. Looks like uh, we're getting our seniors out there to finish off this game. 3.20 left. Morales to Kron. Kron kicks it down to Watana, to Adrian. Calls a handball. This will be a direct kick for the uh, Huskies coming out. Let's see, uh, let's see if the Wildcats can show a little character, a little tenacity here with the remaining few minutes. Kyle Berg uh, is in the nets now, junior keeper. Handball is called. Gareth Hulse. Gareth is in there, got a, actually won that ball and they caused a foul, he's a senior, getting some time today. Ali looks to make that turn again. Little Bangs coming down again. He just scored off the top, does a nice cutback. Mitchell keeps him honest, gets the ball, plays it to Caden. Caden being patient. Wrestles through it, gets past Ali. Rainford doing a nice job coming down the line, but it goes Oatana and we got the trademark boom. Goes to Diego's taking the throw in. He's way over the line, they don't see it, that's fine, it gets behind the line when he actually takes a kick. Rainford looking for the ball, crosses it, a little behind the, the business. Gareth working hard, getting out there, trying to get things done. All right, Carter Weber collecting it, kicks it early, Jackson gets drilled in the back. Jackson Hedegaard goes straight up. Leo Gantert uh, goes straight in. Thankfully, uh, Jackson's okay. Owen Mitchell plays it to the outside. Carter Weber looking left foot. Goes off the table. Oatana subbing two guys in. Clock is stopped for the Oatana substitutions. The game back in for Oatana will be number eight, Tyler Harris. Checking in now, Mason Cucciarella, number two. Wildcats, All right, number 10, the sophomore Mason Cacciarella coming in for Oatana. All right, big throw. It's over. over. Oh, Carter gets a little head on it. Leo Ganter can't control it, but it's off blue. White throw. One minute remaining in the second half. One minute. All right, good shadow. Owen Mitchell shielding the ball. Little little bangs called for pushing Owen Mitchell. Diego, oh my goodness. I thought it was going to Kyle Berg. Diego picks it up. They called, boy, I think it was, Diego was just running and there was a guy there. Technically, it was in the box, but I think the Three ref kick, isn't going to call it a penalty Huskies. kick, but that was way unusual. I, I'm not in agreement with that. He puts it in the box. He's making up an indirect. I don't know if he called it obstruction or what, but Diego's kick. running, Ten and then the guy suddenly was there. Ten seconds. The ref should have stopped the clock. Didn't. Serves it over to the side. Header, and the big ball comes in. Kyle Berg collects it. Gets kicked in as the horn sounds. That, that will count it. That will count as a goal as, clock, as time expired. The referee blows that final whistle. And that, uh, that ends the game. That, that goal does count, it's on the on the board, that's so uh, the final here from Wildcat Stadium is 3-6. Boy, that's a tough one to say out loud. 3-6. I, I look at what happened right after halftime. Love, 
love to have the Wildcats look at film for that first 15 minutes after halftime. That's where the possession was blue. Things were going well. A um, little break when there's a two yellow cards and a red card issued to uh, the Egan assistant coach. Um, but what do you take away from this if you're Coach Tim Foley? You take away, there's some really nice things. Good 25, 30 minutes going on there. And uh, if, the, if they can play that Egan soccer, good things happen. So uh, looking at the final score, you, would, you wouldn't say that it was uh, twice of what happened. Also unusual, we started the, the game with uh, two officials and then we uh, got that third one gathered in. Um, after that, but uh, so the to total body of work that the Eagan Wildcats showed today is not what's reflected on the scoreboard, but that's that's part of this game. I mean, that goal scored with that last second it goes back to what I said about uh, having the official time kept on the field is that uh, you would never know if that was a goal or not. When it's a public clock, everyone knows it got scored, and then the horn went off right after that. So. Um, the, uh, there will be uh, coverage of the girls game following this. Uh, it'll be the girls uh, varsity Wildcats against the uh, Southwest Lakers. So until next time, this is Gus Broman uh, signing off.